All right, guys, so it's finally time for me to start my half marathon build up. Uh, for the last couple of years now, I've been doing what we could call just base training. I've been working on upping my volume of training, how many kilometers I run per week. Um, and I've had a few injuries and setbacks. So it's taken me a while to get where I am right now. But I'm basically at, you know, comfortable at around 60 kilometers per week right now. And uh, I have a couple of half marathons coming up. Um, there's one in September on the 15th, which is sort of my main race of the season. Again, I, I say race, but I, it's not like I'm going to be competitive or anything like that. It's just my, my race, you know, I'm going to do my thing and I have my own goals. And so that's the main sort of goal. And then I have another one in just a month on uh, June the 30th, which is also a half marathon. It's going to be our first half marathon. And uh, I'm super excited. So in that process, in building up to those races, I've now created a training plan. I've been using my knowledge from all kinds of different books that I'm constantly reading, but especially I'm using the Jack Daniels running formula, uh, highly recommended. I'll do a review at one point later. Uh, and I'm also using this book, uh, Faster Road Racing by Pete Fitzinger. I'll put affiliate links in the description if you're interested, um, as, as sort of the, the guides to my style of planning. Um, and I've been really um, getting specific about workouts, uh, you know, interval training, speed training, that sort of thing. And I wanted to show you guys what I'm up to and what I'm going to be up to. So let's jump straight into Excel, where we can take a look at uh, what I'm going to do for the next few weeks, training wise. All right, so here we are in Excel. And this is the year uh, starting from week one, going all the way down to number 52 and a little bit further, which is complete 2018 year, all the weeks. And, you know, on the, during the first half of the year, I just trained a lot, did build up my mileage, you know, basically what I've been up to for the last few months. Um, and then uh, in the last part of the year, I'm going to get back to just building my volume again. But in the middle part here, uh, there's a few weeks of uh, focused uh, training, peaking, basically, uh, sharpening, getting my uh, working on some specific adaptions within my system to increase performance. So let's just talk about the whole uh, sort of setup here. On the left, we have the week number. And then we have the macro cycle, you can see up here what it says, the macro cycle. Um, first, well, we get into that, there's the macro cycle there, then the meso cycle, which is a slower, uh, a shorter sort of focus. And then there's the kilometers per week runs per week, how many runs I'll do per week, the length of my long run in kilometers, uh, the type of week, uh, description of the week, what I'm going to do, and then specific workouts, as well as the races. Here we have the uh, 21k, the first half marathon on the 30th of June, and then the second one here on the 15th of September. And in the middle, I have a 6k race, which is just going to be like a a workout. I'm not going to race it. I'm not going to taper much. I'm just going to do like a work, a hard workout in a race, and a few notes. So let's talk about the the two cycles first. There's the half marathon build one and the build two, uh, and then there's a recovery in between. So really, I'm really focusing focusing mostly on this race, the the September race. So actually, all of this is one big build up to that race, actually, but. I also have this first race there and I'm going to taper somewhat, not a full taper, but a slight taper followed by a normal taper week where I reduce my training a little bit. Um, so it is a genuine race. I'm going to race it, obviously. I'm going to run hard. I had a few, you know, I was sick for a little while during some of these weeks um, because of my wisdom teeth. I got them pulled and now I'm well again and I started building up again, slow build, getting back into up to 60k per week. And then now we're actually in this week, which is the first week of the proper, you know, build up. And last uh, Tuesday, today is uh, Thursday, I did the first session, which is a speed session. 200 meter repetitions, one 400 meter repetitions, and a few more 200 meter repetitions. Uh, when it says R here, R, that means repetition pace, which is speed pace, you know, like... Uh, 
3k pace or even mile pace and then here on friday coming up tomorrow i'm gonna do my first threshold session three times five minute at threshold t means threshold this is the way jack daniels does the planning um, so i've taken some of his ideas and put it into my training plan so um, just to get an overview i'll then go through first this period now three weeks of speed training and a little bit of threshold then i'll taper a couple of weeks before the race then i'll have a race recovery period just recovering after the race uh, building back up to 60k after tapering and racing and then having this recovery week and then start my vo2 max um, mesocycle which is focused on building my aerobic engine interval training basically slower than repetition pace interval pace which is marked with an i as you can see there uh, uh, means uh, basically well actually that would be more like 3k pace for me repetition pace is probably more like mile pace whereas interval pace is probably around 3k pace what i could race for you know 10 minutes 12 minutes something like that vo2 max pace basically um so that's the vo2 max section uh mesocycle then as somewhat of an easy week in between just to recover from a few weeks of hard training then we'll get do the 6k race and then we'll do a threshold uh, cycle before we do a full taper for the half marathon in September of course if you look at it like this then you can see that there's actually three main cycles one speed cycle one vo2 max cycle and one threshold cycle and that's the focus of that period of those three weeks so for example in this one vo2 max is the focus of this week but I'll still touch on the speed aspect that i developed during this section in this period and i'll also touch on the threshold i'll have threshold sessions as well even though the main threshold focus comes in the last mesocycle so really all of these cycles have all of the different elements speed vo2 max and threshold uh, as well as long runs of course um, without but but there's a focus on one of those aspects over the other and that's called periodization and that's a really great concept it's basically focusing on different things during different parts of the year looking at big cycles and smaller cycles the smallest cycle being essentially the week the weekly cycle that's the smallest that's the micro cycle and then the the meso cycle here is is actually the the three-week uh, period where I focus on a particular aspect and then there's the macro cycle which is the whole build-up as a whole going into all the details of my plan would take a while of course you could always pause the video and just actually study it if you if you if you feel like doing that uh, but let's talk a little bit about some of the aspects so typically here you know you can see that I'm doing t workouts on Tuesdays and Fridays Sometimes I'm moving the Tuesday workout to Wednesday like here and that's because if you look at it here um, Let's let's look at uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see um, What's a good one this one for example uh, here you can see that on Sunday, I'm doing a progressive long run basically a long run that increases in speed throughout the run finishes at 20 minutes at threshold so that's a tough workout and if you look at it here it's actually a 20k long run the, the length of the wrong long run is down here so 20k long run with 20 minutes at threshold at the end that's a hard workout and that's the hardest workout that's the, the hardest run i do in the whole uh, build-up period that's one two three weeks out from the half marathon and so i'm going to need some extra recovery after that and that's why if you look at the next week my Tuesday session is moved to Wednesday because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need some extra recovery and if you notice here it also says on boat <laughs> and that's because uh, here it says R H R it means Hurtiruta which is the name of a, a cruise ship kind of here in Norway I'm actually going with my parents and my grandparents and my brother to celebrate my dad's 60th birthday we're, we're going for one week from the north of Norway all the way down the coast to Bergen in a boat or like five or six days and so I'm going to be on a boat during the most important training week that last week before the taper I'm going to be on a boat and I have to do my training 
on a treadmill and also probably getting off the boat now and then to do a little bit of a run on land. So that's why it also here, if you look at that progressive long run, it says Kirkenes, which means, which is a place in the north of Norway. I'll do that progressive long run up north. <laughs> so that'll be a good way to, you know, see, see Norway, I guess. Um, anyway, so you can see I'm moving around the workouts depending on that. So if I had a hard workout, I might add in a few extra days of recovery before I do another hard workout. Um, Generally speaking, you know, I'm increasing my stress throughout each period. So it's starting with a little bit of an easier one and then slowly increasing just a little bit throughout the three weeks. Not too much though, because I need those three weeks to adapt to the overall load of the program. And then it's recovery time, right? The taper comes here. And then there's another three week session here, increasing it a little bit, right? Because if you look here, for example, I'm starting out my VO2 max session, um, set cycle with four times a thousand meters at interval pace. So yeah, that's self-explanatory with three minutes of jogging in between the, the intervals. And then on Friday, I have a threshold session with some repetitions as well for maintaining speed. But then next week, I've increased the stress just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. I'm doing three th times a thousand instead of four times a thousand, but I'm also having an 800 meter interval at the beginning and an 800 meter interval at the end at the same pace. So that totals up to 4,600 meters at interval pace as opposed to just 4,000 meters at that point. The third week is the same as the second week, but then there's other things that change in that same period because although the VO2 max workout is the same, I'm going from 60 to 70K per week total. So my overall running volume is increasing there. So that's why the third workout is exactly the same as the second one because I have other stressors to deal with as well. So there's a lot of these things to consider when you're making a training plan. Uh, it, it's probably, I've probably worked on this for about 10 hours, I would say, about 10 hours of work. And that's obviously not including my hundreds and hundreds of hours of studying and reading over the last few years. Uh, I study a lot and training planning uh, and exercise physiology is probably one of my top favorite subjects along with nutrition, for example. So I don't know, I don't think we're going to go into more details about particular what I'm going to particularly do. As I said, you can pause the video and study it in detail if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I, I really look forward to running hard, pushing myself a little bit harder than I've been so far. Of course, I've pushed myself in terms of volume, constantly up the volume of my training, but now I'm going to up the intensity and that's exciting. Um, as I said, I don't know what to expect. I don't, my, my fitness is going to change and I'm going to learn a lot about my, my body and my fitness during this training program, of course, because I'm going to start uh, seeing how I perform and how my performance increases. Even just after that one speed session I did on two days ago, my resting heart rate is down like 4% <laughs> just from that one workout. That's pretty crazy. So um, who knows what to expect? Maybe I'll run like super fast on the half marathon or maybe not. If it's hot, it's going to be challenging. Of course, it's very hot right now these days in Norway, which means I'm running slower, but that doesn't really affect uh, speed training and that sort of thing, because that's just a bad a quick, you know, one to two minute hard work and then then uh, then you have a rest. Principles of training in terms of how to do this planning and how to, you know, what is repetition pace? What is threshold pace? What is lactate threshold anyway? What is lactate? You know, those things, this, that's stuff that I want to get into over the next few months and years. We're going to talk about all these things on this channel. This is my passion. But in the meantime, you know, you keep watching these videos for sure. Subscribe, of course and maybe read this book. As I said, I'll make a review of it soon, but this is, this is the book to get if you're interested in this kind of stuff. There's always a risk involved in this high intensity training. You know, I might end up um, overtraining. I might end up pushing myself too hard. So I need to be vigilant. I need to pay attention to my body. And if I've noticed that I'm, that, it, that this is too hard, then I'll, I'll back off a little bit. But I, I actually think that if anything, these workouts are, are on the slightly conservative side of what 
uh, what would be conventionally recommended. So I'm, I'm confident, I feel good, uh, and I'm just super excited about tomorrow's work at the three times five minute at threshold. Just to feel that threshold, just to see where is it. I don't even know where that threshold is for me exactly. My Garmin Forerunner 630 does an estimate approximately where it is. Uh, and that'll be interesting to see what it says tomorrow. Um, just feeling excited and feeling happy. And I'm so grateful to have you with me here on this journey. Um, please comment. Please let me know what you think about my training plan. If you've done anything similar. Did you run a half marathon? Have you done it yet? What's your PR? Um, how did you train for it? Share your thoughts. Share your advice. If you have any advice, if you're like, damn, man, you, you should not do that. Like something particular you noticed in my training plan, then let me know. Um, but I, I'm pretty confident that this is, this is pretty, pretty good. Just wrap it up. Uh, although I haven't officially launched a coaching program here on the Lone Trail, that's something I will do um, in the near future, maybe in, I don't know, in a little while, six months or so. Um, but if you are interested in coaching, uh, I have already coached a couple of people and made training programs for them. Uh, not exactly this type of training program, although I could do that too, uh, but that's going to take a lot of time. But general general training programs, you know, it all depends on the individual and their goals. So if you are interested in, in advice, you know, if you just need some advice or if you actually want a full training program, you can contact me and, and we'll can, we can discuss uh, some prices and some things that I could do for you in terms of that. We could just, even if you just want to have one coaching session and just talk about some general principles in terms of your own training, we can certainly do that too. So to do that, you probably should go to our website, sweetnaturalliving.com. Uh, where you can uh, just go on the contact tab and send me an, send me an email uh, and I'll uh, and we'll talk about the details there. Stay tuned of course to this channel for lots of upcoming content. I will be making videos from some of these workouts for sure. I'll be taking you with me to the track. We'll talk more details about why I'm doing different things and etc. And I'm sure there's going to be some challenges along the way and we'll talk about that too. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. See you around.